guys almost addicted here and today we're going to be building this tropical island beach house on the water this is a perfect villa massive mansion and it's uh, as the spanish say a casa un casa un i can't say it in any other languages but you know what i mean it's a perfect little beach house and yeah hopefully you guys get uh, some inspiration from this um yeah something so slap a huge like on this video because uh, i've literally spent ages on it so hopefully enjoy it and it's up to you guys to share this video let's do this right so let's make this tropical island house i've just got this little island here i've just got it offline um so yeah i'm gonna see what i can do um so i'm gonna it should fit in a 50 times 50 and, and you want it kind of poking out of the water if you're wanting this, but it doesn't really matter. It can all be on land because this is all going to be kind of pillars coming up out of the water kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to start over here maybe. And um, so I'm going to be up one, two, three, maybe four. You know what? Five. Five gaps in between here. It's up to five. All of them are going to be up to five. So five gaps with this one three gaps with this one and I'm gonna to go to the side three gaps and then into the water now so three gaps for every single one of these and then three gaps in between here so obviously it depends um, what your your waters how deep your water is uh, for how much resources you're gonna use for this uh, but you can always change it. it doesn't have to be these so we've got that so far I'm going to go to the right hand side now and um, three gaps bring this up and then I'm going to go up forward like that and complete that little area so three gaps between this one five gaps now another five gaps and um, three gaps this is going to be the back balcony area here I think so to complete it we're going to have five gaps here should be five gaps at that end and you've basically got a rectangle there like that with one up there and then that line coming down there so let's start at this other side equal with this one pillar we've put out of the way so three gaps and then three gaps so it should be level with this five gaps for another five gaps and then this is going to be three gaps three gaps three gaps like this so this is the front and uh, let's go to the back again just makes it a little bit easier i'm gonna have five gaps in between here and uh, three gaps and five gaps there so bringing that up like that uh, i don't know why that glass is there flurry and then five gaps again and then three gaps five gaps there and then from this post here so up in the air from that post three gaps one two three four five and then we're gonna have five gaps three gaps between five gaps between those and then we're gonna have five gaps again another oh that might be a bit more actually so i'm gonna come back this way which is three gaps another three gaps here another three gaps and then another three gaps here so we're facing the front now another three gaps and actually get that going into the ground and another three gaps and then another three gaps out this way hopefully i'm explaining that all right it's kind of difficult with all these posts here and so from the front we've got this little bit that kind of curves around here just behind this one there's going to be three gaps another three gaps and then to the left and right three gaps and three gaps there so we should have something like that you can pause the video check if everything's all in place and yeah we can work on this jetty area and um, i think what i'm going to do for this is going to get the slab of the acacia but if you want to use a different color you can do that and i'm going to join these together got to watch which ones I'm joining together because um, it's important for the structure of it so it'll probably make it a lot easier to know where all these blocks are as well so yeah I guess there's that so I'm gonna put this across 
I'm going to fill that in at a later date. But yeah, I'm going to join this onto here. And then this is going to go all the way back to here. Yep. Yeah. And then all the way across to here and to here and to here. Just all the way across everything on this one, I think. It's probably the best. And then it ends kind of there. And for this one at the back, and kind of get it up here and across like this and then join it onto here like that and then this here is going to go across here and across here again and then we can go out like this and then join this together I think these need to be a bit higher and then this going across here and here and then this is where it comes out at this point now. And then we're leaving this kind of bit open. So that's going across here. It's going across here like that. So, yeah. And um, let me see. So that's going to be part of that. That's going to be there. That's the outside bit there, maybe. Let me see. So that. It's going to be maybe that kind of chill out area here. Right, okay, so I'm going to bring this across to here and then join it on with this. And then we can separate these ones here. So we've got a rectangle there, rectangle there. And when I fly up in the air, you'll kind of see what's going on a little bit better. So yeah. And then we're going to have that kind of separate from this one so this one's going to go across here and then this going across here like that and then let's see let's bring this across here and then we can just kind of join these ones on make it a little bit easier and then when i fly up in the air you can kind of see what i'm doing Right, so I'll fly up in the air, you can kind of see everything's either a 3 or 5 gap. So you can pause the video, take a look at that. And uh, yeah, hopefully it makes it a little bit more kind of simple. So you know what's going on. Um, I'm tempted to bring this out a little bit more here. But at the same time, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, so let's fill in I'm gonna fill it all in right so everything is gonna be filled in so I'm gonna speed that bit up obviously apart from this front bit so we're filling in that square 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 square or rectangle and that one but leaving this front one here we're not gonna fill that in so I'm gonna speed that up and I'll come back once I've done it we're just basically doing this just filling it all in with um, the slaps so yeah i'll come back once that's ready okay we've got the base down so now i'm going to start over here where we've got kind of this rectangle i'm going to bring these up for now that's going to be kind of the balcony area we're going to have a little balcony here as well kind of coming round. these will all be round maybe that will as well just for now something like that and that one as well so yeah, and then we're going to start on this one here. So we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go all the way across to maybe this one here. One, two, three, four, five. We can go across and join this together. And then we can go across here. Bring this up five, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go across here, one, two, three, four, five across to this one here just basically making a rectangle so you can bring it all the way over so these kind of join up now and wherever we've got a post we're just basically bringing it up like that we should have our square in the middle or yeah and um, so I'm gonna have another building coming off the side of it so I'm gonna have to maybe make a hole here between these so yeah, because I kind of want this to be part of it. So I want this a bit higher so we can bring it on from there and bring it across like that. 
we can bring this up and we can bring it over until it joins onto this one so it's kind of like another building coming off this one so here bring that up and it's going across like this and then obviously for this bit we can double thickness it just for that little bit and uh, yeah so we've got that little bit there these are going to be kind of like maybe there could be bits to prop up the balcony up top and then yeah so i'm going to bring this up one and then i'm going to get dark oak and bring it across like that and when these come up like this I can have this coming out from the dark oak and just pointing out maybe it'd be worth coming out to maybe this point here and then one out like that same with this one so bringing that up over across to here across to this one and then just out by one and we can have this overhanging balcony uh, for this bit every other one we can bring it across like this and we're gonna have maybe something like this supporting these ones so where these posts would be I'm having these down instead so these are kind of extra supports holding these on I have a rough idea what it's gonna look like but I don't at the same time um, so yeah it's kind of like I'm just going with the flow of it seeing how it turns out if it turns out bad I apologize kind of thing and I'm going to bring these up here for these ones like that and then we might as well have these going up like that and uh, yeah we'll just finish it off with this going around like this like that you can maybe even do it for the middle bit if you want if you want to save on resources you could use that instead nobody's going to see that bit anyway so yeah I guess it's all right and um, so yeah I'm gonna bring this up again one two three four five six maybe this time one two three four five six and then one two three four five six one two three four five six and uh, this is where I'm gonna do the roof here so I'm gonna bring it out by two like this and it's gonna be yeah um, hopefully it'll turn out all right so another two and we're basically gonna do this until we reach kind of the middle which is over here and then it should give us an idea of how high we're gonna do it so we can go like this now number two number two and then number two another two another two until it gets to roughly probably about there maybe let's do two more like that so it should go up like that and then yeah just basically bringing all these across like this I'm sure I can speed up this bit pretty much it's just overhanging by one and then we can bring this up and it should rest perfectly <coughs> and then we can go on to the next level but yeah I'm trying to get a roof and then I can put all the details in so I'm building this a little bit different might be a bit more difficult in survival but um, yeah this is kind of like a, I wasn't gonna build a house today but I thought I'd just do an extra build so if I'm not building it as good don't hate on me it's just extra content um, and I kind of want to build like this so I can kind of um, yeah it's a different way of building so I don't get bored as well um, so yeah I'm gonna speed this up basically you know what to do just bringing these over to there there's only two left anyway okay now I'm gonna get some smooth quartz and uh, in fact we'll put two up here first of this um, at both sides because I kind of want like a big kind of white window sort of thing going on I'm gonna put that across and then so that's one two three four five probably six height is probably good enough like that and then the rest of it can be this 
So there's going to be points where obviously you're going to be able to see those bits, but don't worry, we can cover those up. So this is how we cover it up. Obviously, we're going to have to use that. We're going to have to double it up. So double in these areas up. And double it up. Double it up. Leave that one on the end like that. And then I might double that up. Like that. And yeah, just kind of like a big window. Big two window even. Like that. And then uh, I was thinking maybe we could get some... I wonder if spruce would work just kind of just to get the edges in obviously you'd use a block and you wouldn't use a so I... let me just have a look see how it would look just so it's not completely boring it's got something a little bit different yeah I'm gonna go with that and then uh, yeah I'm gonna get some grass blocks to cover up that bottom white bit and then we can grab some of the spruce trap doors just to cover that and you can do it underneath as well so you don't see the dirty dirt uh, just underneath there like that something like that and then we can add some flowers and decorations and stuff and um, now here I was thinking maybe we could grab some of this oak stairs and then we can add windows of our choice I'm gonna actually just use the plain windows um, so yeah just a nice plain window I think will work just as good like that and then you can add some bud buttons and stuff uh, for decoration but I think something like that is yeah perfectly cool I'm gonna bring this up now like to that so that goes in there and then at the sides here bring these up like that and then we can get our white and it's just going to be a nice simple one window something like that which works fine and then um, I think I'm actually going to put maybe a balcony can now I might actually have a sloped roof down for that balcony bit so yeah keep it like this and same for this one and we get our smooth white but obviously you can use whatever you like it doesn't have to be smooth white um, quartz it can be any quartz it could be wool even um, yeah and same with this as well I'm probably not going to put them underneath because um, I might have a sloping roof coming down from here to join onto these so maybe these could go up one two three one two three maybe I'll I'll see how it looks uh, first because I'm gonna have this coming down so this going underneath here maybe actually overhanging by the sides of one and uh, I'll just see if this works first that would be going over there yeah I think that works perfectly so let's remove that so people don't get confused just bringing it down like that and then we can actually bring it up like that so it just comes down like that and you can put them under like that as well maybe not for the last one you could have something like that something like should work uh, bring this across and just do the same here so you can just do thingy under until you get to the top here and that and then that and what we've done over here I'm gonna do exactly the same here so I'm gonna speed this bit up Um, actually remove that and uh, yeah so what I've done on that side I'm gonna do on that side speed it up and um, for this as well I'm gonna fill all that in so I'll fill that in and get this side looking like the other side so I will come back once that's done yep so I've done this side exactly the same there's just this little bit left to go and of course um, remember to I've put a little stair for these smaller ones finish that off as well and yeah we're ready to go I'm gonna experiment with this one so it's gonna be a lot of different kind of 
block combinations maybe. Well, I haven't, I've never tried this combination, but you guys can always you know, experiment yourself and see if you like it or not. But I kind of like it, it's kind of something different. And for these as well, I'm kind of tempted to use glass blocks as kind of like a railing for a change. Because I never seem to do that. Um, maybe block it off here. And then for this railing, maybe something a little different. Um, so something like um, the oak with these it just kind of there uh, I'm actually doing it from the inside like this so if you stack them on top of each other and it should just fit behind the roof like this I can actually yeah so if I close all these that kind of closes that area off um, I can just place one in there, so that's kind of keeps that all connected. Um, I guess it's not really necessary, really. Um, but yeah, something like that makes more sense that way. And then, uh, yeah, these across here, so this is kind of concealing this inside bit. You can get some lanterns down here and stuff, it'll make it look a lot cooler. Um, we can get into this bit. Let's uh, might as well put this across here, and then it's probably the perfect place to then put lanterns. And what we've done over there, we can actually do here as well. It just makes a little bit more sense. So we're going to have to do it from this side here, like this. Close them, and it looks the same. Same on the other side, and then what we can do is the same with that so yeah i'm gonna get some lanterns ready because when you use shaders people can't see as well and yeah it's there's probably no point in me doing that because it does work sorry about that i'll just place that there i guess either side that still works perfectly fine so i'm happy okay so we've got those dangling down can maybe do it from here as well um guess we could have that coming out here I guess it might look all right with this kind of hanging out like this and then we can use the lanterns dangling down from there might look quite cool yeah I like that it works so yeah Um, so I'm gonna have this downstairs bit I might have this in like a different colour altogether. Um, or just all white, because that could work. Maybe something like this. We're going to have a doorway, obviously. Um, might have a doorway here. And then have these ones as kind of. Uh, I wonder if something like that would work. And then across the top, we can have these kind of. Like it be a shutter blind, whatever. And we can get some grass here. And maybe we could just have some big open kind of glass um, things. So if we put them like this and then we grab some fences, maybe it's something like that. Stick it in there. And we'll just, just kind of glass opening windows. I like them. I seem to do them a lot on my modern. So yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Or what you can do as well, I think this might be quite cool to do, is just bush with um, some signs on. So we're changing it up and it looks a bit different in all areas. I wonder if it'll fit here though. No, yeah, it's not interrupted by anything. Okay, same here. Even at the sides, if you wanted to do the front like that and you wanted kind of like the side to kind of work with that one, you can have something like that. That could work as well. Or you can just keep um, the grass blocks because then you can add flowers and stuff. But I think for that top thing, I think some nice big red flowers would kind of, because it's kind of like a big, big open thing like that. You just 
gives it that tropical feel, you know. Um, I might actually try this. Um, get some bamboo. Like this. And then we could use what we did here. And just... There. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, I'm going to use that. Same here, I'm going to use the red. Like that. Because it just looks good, you know? So, so far, the tropical island thing is looking good. I kind of want this side to be a bit bigger. So, I want this coming from this end. So, let's see how tall we did this one. It'll probably give us one, two, three, four, five, six. So, seven. So, let's do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it'll be like, hopefully, over the end of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And um, two out. And uh, yeah. So the same as what we've done with that one. But hopefully this roof is kind of overlapping the other one in such a way that it works. But then I have to kind of figure out best way for it to work but yeah so double it up like that and then double it up double it up I think an overlap like that would be okay yeah one two am I doing this right yeah one two and then put them on top one two Two on top, one, two, two on top, one, two, two on top, and then one, two, like that. So it's best to close these all together and then we can kind of see what's best to use. Just have a look, does that look okay? Yeah. Right, so bring this over and once we've done this roof we can kind of uh, we'll, we'll get a good idea where we can kind of connect it all together because we want this kind of connected to the other one so it doesn't look completely separate okay and uh, sorry if this turns out absolutely terrible but I just thought I'd try something different because obviously you guys know that I build with the same uh, blocks a lot I think someone mentioned it in the comments that I build with a lot of oak and stuff like that and I thought do you know what I actually do so yeah it's probably best for me to I'm gonna bring this actually across here it's best for me to maybe try something different maybe that's what it is maybe it's um, partly my reason why I'm not doing as well on YouTube because yeah maybe I'm not trying and experimenting enough not, but yeah I'll give it a try. I can actually remove this roof here. Not that one there. Um, so I can bring it up here. And maybe this one's probably better at ending like that. Just like this top one. But yeah, it goes across like that. And then, yeah. Um, just fill this in with dark oak. I might actually get some... I think white might actually be quite good here across the top and then we can just have a big kind of window here so yeah that could work so window here let me experiment see if the white works here as well I'm not sure if it will it might be yeah I guess so I'm still unsure if this is kind of you know worth doing just all the way up to the top, you know, just having that and then that going up there. Yeah, I kind of like it like that, so I apologize. Um, yeah, you're just basically bringing this up a little bit more. I just, if you like it the way I've done it originally, keep it like that. If you're going to moan about um, taking a few blocks away, just keep it as it was, because it's just not worth it, is it? Life's too hard, brother, you know. No point in crying over spilt milk. 
Um, I'm gonna get, let's see how many gaps this is. Um, I kind of want a balcony here. So, um, like an overhanging balcony from, maybe it'd be worth bringing up. Hmm. So we've got that, that tucks in there. Maybe bring these up and have this part of the balcony, maybe. Let's bring these up to there, yeah. And this one as well. We can have that balcony kind of wrapping around. So I'm going to use some orange now. Bring this to here. And let me just take a look back. So yeah. That, that, and that. I wonder if it's worth bringing out that balcony a little bit more. Um, so it kind of overhangs over here. And then we could connect this with this one. Maybe. Yeah. So I'll bring it to here. And then this one goes across here. So we've got a gap there, but at the top we've got like this extra balcony area. And probably place one there and remove this one and just put a block under like that so that's like that we could then go like this and then use that as a perfect opportunity to have some underlighting on this bit like that See, it's coming together, it's coming together. And um, so, maybe, which is best? Maybe kind of like, just wanted the glass for that little bit and then I can have maybe, it's probably, I wonder if it's best like that and then add in bush behind it, like this. Just so it's not completely bare and it gives it a little bit of depth by having that out like that I think yeah it it works so we're gonna use that and same for this as well across here and uh, yeah might as well for this across here as well I guess I've got a two gap there um, by accident so I guess you guys have all got three so I'll Put it so it's kind of the same as everybody else. It's not much of a big deal. And then we just bring this one a bit more forward. That's all. Yeah. So I put two gaps there for some reason. I don't know why. But hopefully you guys didn't do that. But yeah, just do it exactly the same. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I shouldn't be yawning in the tutorials, right? Bring this here, right? And then, obviously leave the end over because you want it to be able to kind of jump out and uh, yeah, you get the idea. Bring this out to here, might as well put that there as well. We can make it a little bit more kind of, <coughs> I don't know if this will work, but I guess I can try it. So I can get some of these white blocks we can, right, I'll put them down and then we can see. I think it's just smooth quartz or something. I'll put them down and then we can have a look back and then you guys can decide if you like it or not. Um, yeah. It's kind of alright, but it's kind of not at the same time. So I think maybe an oak might be more um, less in your face, if you know what I mean. Maybe something like it, an oak, because the oak goes in with this as well. So yeah, I thought I'd do the experiment for you guys so you don't have to remove all the blocks. Let's have a little look. Is this better? Much better. It blends in with the, the colour palette that we're doing as well. And I think what we can do is... We can have some bushes here actually and we can have it as a kind of 
area where we can just I don't know it just looks good in it so yeah and um, from the outside here maybe might put them this way for that and then front ways for this so it, it looks a little bit different and we can have a pull from there so it's just kind of one stripe going down here I think in the white as a window it's just like a, a small window here I think would be all right and make it look a little bit different and then here bring this up to the top and of course we're gonna have like a little doorway here I think this is probably best because we can then kind of come out onto this area it might be worth just putting that there and kind of get through so yeah I use this white to kind of have let's do a three height and then we can do the same doorway as what we did with the thing before bring this up and around and then we can just have two windows there maybe with something like um, these on top and this going across here with my trapdoors on and then I wonder if it's worth kind of having um, these coming down so it kind of looks like it's supporting it like that probably use some smaller flowers for this one I think would work better I kind of feel like we should double this up and then have this as a huge bush up to the top like that and we can actually use some what they called compositors because um, it kind of goes in with the color combination here but also add something different so yeah it's a pretty cool house so far I'm kind of liking it um, like this and of course we can add some more greenery greenery um, I'm gonna actually use some of the spruce leaves this time so we can get a different shade of green for a change um, maybe just to there we can actually have it like this just to there have that one there and then maybe add this on the outside like that or um, a sign it's just something different why not and um, I'm gonna do yeah the oak here as well for these ones and this one here probably we could have an entrance here this coming over to here bring this up more and we could have the balcony kind of curling round here um, but I kind of feel like this should come up here it's gonna be a bit of a, a weird balcony but do you know what I don't really care it's gonna be awesome like that so it's kind of overhanging there with maybe some bushes underneath no no maybe not um, and then we can bring these ones up as well not in bush bring it up to the same height as all these and then we can figure out what the back's gonna look like but yeah this is gonna have a balcony around here at least down to here and then we've that's going to be some back stairs that kind of come up I think that would look cool for doing that and we can add loads more detail after so we don't have to worry about a lot and I'm trying to think what I'm going to do for this back bit here um, I guess we could keep into the theme of everything else with the windows and stuff but I kind of feel like we could have like maybe just to make it a bit more interesting by having like a one two three four one two three four having like an overhang extra here like this little outhouse bit stair under stair under until we reach the top 
there we go and then I'm gonna have this coming across here so we kind of we know where it ends and yeah we could probably nah, not connect it over there but yeah and um, so that goes across there and then maybe it might be worth putting that across here we do the same for this one stair under or not stair even slab under slab under and then just end it at that point close this across yeah I kind of want it just a bit interesting in um, all areas not just the front so it's kind of got this as well that it uh, just makes it pretty all right and I know I don't do the interiors enough I just hate doing them mate <laughs> the truth um, I'm gonna do the same what I did on that side here so I'm gonna have this going to here so exactly what I've done there apart from in fact I'll just stay here and do it and then so two there one two then one two three we can add those windows in I forgot to actually add those just have them plain like that I think would work and um, so I'm gonna try this bring this up to here and this up to here I might have this as a an actual back window but I kind of feel like maybe it might pay off for having a balcony here just to this bit though um, just to be in line with this here and then we can bring this up as well as kind of a, a support but yeah it just make it a little bit more interesting and then we can have that overhanging which I'm fine with you can always uh, put some supports underneath if you feel like uh, you want it a bit more true to life where it'd have some supports coming through uh, you can do that but I'm kind of happy with the way that is same with this as well I'm gonna get these across here you can actually wait if you're in survival <laughs> I'm just kind of all over the place at the moment so just to that and uh, yeah so I'm going to do the same for this here I might do it on the inside like this and then we can add our bushes and then maybe for this bit so it looks a bit different we could do it from this way would that work nah it's probably worth doing it from the inside like this because then this would connect onto here better yeah Otherwise, I don't think that um, that corner would work. So yeah, so like that. Yeah, I'm gonna um, do exactly the same actually because obviously we've got the back balcony here, so you can get out from both ways. And um, so yeah, same with the white as well. Bring the white across, and uh, yeah. And that, and um, yeah, I need to grab these. There, and there. And we can add some hanging baskets around us and stuff. I think that would make it look cool. And we can do these little bits here with the glass. Um, yeah, just have the glass sticking out like this. And then you can. <laughs> Probably best, actually. You could use some iron bars, maybe. And then it doesn't connect on to those so for these windows or doors even and we'll have a little look okay 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 very nice very nice um let's have one of these hanging baskets now maybe one there and one dangling down from here maybe and then of course we're gonna have these on here anyway might as well put those out ready and so for the hanging baskets I thought something like this just have these on here and grab a chain and one two one two and you can add kind of maybe just a one like that one like that and then underneath it you can add spruce thing 
and then wrap some signs around it. So, sign. Can actually get an orange so it goes in with the roof or something. And it looks a bit different as well. And I use better uh, leaves mod usually, and it makes the leaves all fluffy and stuff, so they end up looking cool. But I guess that works as well. And then maybe add across here like that. I kind of feel like yeah, it's missing something, which it is, which is this. And then wrap these around it. And then we can add some smaller flowers to make it make sense a bit more. Uh, flower wise, maybe dig in some blues, maybe. Blue? Do you, does this blue work? Yes. So I've got the blue for here. Um, I saw a hole in the roof. There we go. That was probably paining people. Just get the get the hole in the oh he's missed it again. <laughs> and then uh, get around from there and then I'm just gonna maybe have just a big mammoth window for here. And then in the middle and then yeah we can stick to the same theme with this. I'm kinda actually liking how this colour palette's turned out, so yeah. As soon as we add some buttons and stuff, um, we can really make it start popping. I'm going to get this out like this. Because we've got a bit more space, maybe is it worth... Right. So we have to do this on the outside for this. Like this. And might as well keep up with it. Like then, And then... Yeah, if you wanted to add those little bits across there as well, just to, yeah, here and there. Don't do it too much, but yeah, you get the idea. So, need to do some down there as well, but for now, I'm going to grab some bush. And at least line it around here. Two. Maybe, would it be worth putting, yeah, just, I was going to put some stairs down there, but I thought then it would be way in the way. So like that, that's looking nice, and uh, you can put some deck chairs and stuff out, and uh, I'm definitely going to put some seating areas around here. Maybe just probably get away with some kind of oak thing going on, with uh, some just sides like this, keeping it simple. Um, I wonder what a good table design would be. Just uh, something like this. And then we can actually place stuff on it like uh, turtle eggs. Just because, you know, why not? It's like a cup. Put two cups out there. And then maybe something like this for like add in flowers so say if you wanted to add another red flower there or something like that just to make it a little bit more interesting like it's got something going on and then maybe we could just stick a bell here on this one I kind of feel like it would be better on a chain so can you put a bell on the chain there we go yeah very nice. It's turned out pretty awesome, actually. I'm uh, quite liking this. Uh, so yeah, I forgot. I'm getting distracted again. Get these up, and of course we're going to have flooring. Um, but who can be bothered to put a floor down, really? Will dead it? <laughs> You're damn right. Um, I'm going to use this for a change. That's not really change, but you know. Um, yeah, let's get one of those compositors again. Kind of feel like we could get away with a bush there. 
just add something interesting to the build. Um, then, yeah, this is where we're into the downstairs. I'm going to do both sides kind of the same. Wait. So this is going to be kind of the outside jetty. This is where I'm actually going to have a stair set coming down. Um, so let's get some Akisha stairs coming down from this area. And yeah, I'm just going to bring it down onto the sand or whatever world you decided to do it in. And yeah, so yeah, I'm going to keep it simple like that. I think that's all right like that. And yeah, I'm going to of course do this. Definitely add in that bush there because it's quite plain at the back here. At the bottom anyway for now. Um, same with this one is going to be part of the house anyway so this could be actually a window. Um, so maybe something like this for this one and then what did I do with the other side? Oh, I haven't done it. anything at the other side anyway so something like that. Um, get a bush for that one, that there and lost my train of thought <laughs> and that and then maybe if we get this going across here I feel like we need to light this up here so we can have them either side of there makes it look a little bit more interesting as well the same with in here as well just kind of light it up in some areas because I feel like at the moment it's yeah I might actually put them on top of here probably makes a bit more sense underneath here as well because we've left it kind of open so we can have those dangling down there and um, yeah so we've got that there and for this one here we're gonna have some kind of doorway maybe so that there get the this going up and across and over and have it a little bit different so maybe something like this and then have the doorway in the middle um, I wonder if it's worth doing it like this and then having this all the way across here with like these coming down yeah just for something a little bit different so it's not all the same so you can experiment with these little window designs, patterns and stuff. Um, so you don't feel trapped in doing the same thing. You kind of do your own thing. Um, now I'm going to stick to this because I kind of like that. So yeah, that there. Maybe we could get some bushes here and just extend it on with that one. Yeah. Um, We could have this as a trim actually. It would just make a little bit more sense for when we're wanting to place stuff down. So, have this going around here, and then it's an excuse to prop these up. But also, you can kind of use it to connect to, let me see, these posts. And it makes the under underfloor bit a bit more interesting as well. So while you're looking up, it's kind of like that. I wonder if it's worth doing it like that. Do you know? So it kind of looks like it's connecting it. Does that look all right? Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, and it, yeah, it just gives it a look like it's actually a bit more supported. And it adds a little bit more interest to the build I think as well so yeah it's all good um, maybe for this bit just yeah like that yeah you get the idea for it and um, let's have a look underneath here so we've got that support in there could maybe do it at the front as well so this one being supported obviously if this is getting confusing you don't have to do this but I just think this kind of 
add something to it. Maybe that going across, yeah. Something like that, you know what I mean? It's just adding a little bit of texture to it. But it's not that important. But at least when you're walking around, the roof's just not all the same. It just actually looks a bit more complex. Even if it's not that much more. Um, I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to do it the same. So, spruce. For this one here, I might have that as a doorway as well. So... It could just be all white and then a doorway. That would probably work. So like that. And then across this. And then what did I do at the other side? Yeah, just a bush. Um, but I think... You can obviously put the signs on here. It would probably make it look a bit better for it. Sign... The signs are held in it all are into place. Yeah. Here and here. I might do this for this one. So yeah, just put those randomly so it kind of it just looks different. And uh, I'm trying to think what sort of decorations we can actually use around the place. There's a lot of doors, but I'm okay with that. Um, like that. Now let's use these ones for this one. Would this be worth having a door? Yeah, it's probably perfect for a door actually because it's got the stairs there as well going down. But if you want normal doors and you're in survival and you don't want mobs getting in, this is probably well, this is definitely not the the perfect door design for you. Uh, so what we've done on this side, I'm going to do on this side as well. So, but just in a bigger manner. As big windows. So kind of like this. Big windows like this. And then just these at the side. And our glass. if it's worth just blocking that all off with bush. There's something different. Yeah, why not? And um, so what I've done there, I kind of feel like what have I done here, yeah. And um, I had those across the top, didn't I? So that'll probably make it a little bit better. Like that. Yeah, so from here I'm gonna have this going up here like that. And then of course we're gonna have these on, which I forgot to do. Did I do them around here? Maybe I did. Yes, I did. So the underground bit, you can actually box all the underground off as well, and, and you can use that. But, um, yeah, we've just basically got these kind of floor levels to do. And obviously you want a stair set coming down from some location, but for now, I'm just going to kind of do like this, and hopefully you guys are going to be able to be creative and do I should set five. Do your own interior, but I mean, if this does really well, which I wasn't going to do it, an interior for it, I don't think it's going to do very well to be honest. But um, yeah, I guess I'll do an interior for this. I am working my way to doing more interiors, and I know I keep saying I'm going to do the interior, I promise you. <laughs> and um, I will, I will get, I will get up to them. So have a little faith. Um, gonna have this kind of open plan I'm actually bring this through as well as kind of support beams around the area Um I kind of feel like this would be better open plan but like this with some bush across here and then have this kind of doorway well not doorway but you kind of get the idea 
kind of fenced off like that and then just kind of that going across the top like this so yeah kind of like that I just think it will work quite well and have that there and then now it's just basically just adding little bits of detail that you think could work I mean if you wanted to texture it and stuff you could probably like wherever you've got the whites and stuff just random buttons just to add a little bit of texture to it here and there but if you want it more strategically placed I would probably just add some stone sort of colors just here and there where you imagine where you would have like pins of um, yeah where you would basically pin everything in place but it doesn't have to be everywhere you just kind of like here and there where you might, might be like oh that do there maybe um, even on here so like that is pinning into the place holding up the actual balcony a bit more like on these little bits maybe not on these maybe on these parts here prepare parts so like that and then I feel like one here or something just here and there do you know what I mean it doesn't have to be perfect have some here as well it's kind of bolting that into place and what we've done up there where we're adding the texture supporting it you can do it on the lower decks but I'm just gonna keep it as is um, so yeah but hopefully you got something from this I'm pretty much done now um, and so as I say it's just a, a bit of a kind of different video I was in the mood to build a kind of like a tropical beach house um, just for something different really so yeah and um, you can add some boats around the area and stuff and uh, yeah definitely slapping a like on the video really helps me out and um, all that blah 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 stuff yeah but even though just know that uh, even though I'm not getting the views or and stuff like that I'm still gonna try and put out content I mean I would do this for free anyway Um so yeah oh, where I'm gonna So do you know what I mean? I might have put this up here so it's like that. But hopefully there comes a day when I don't need to actually put ad revenue on because I'm doing alright. So yeah. And then I don't have to worry about all this. Um, what shall I upload? How shall I upload it? Because I don't really want to. I don't want to be like that really. It's, it's not, not a nice feeling where you're like, oh, slap a like on the video, don't comment, do all this. It's just, it's not me authentic you gotta keep it authentic and um, let me see what would work maybe something like get some deck chairs out here and yeah I'm just gonna keep it simple like that so yeah hopefully you got something from this Um you can add whatever you like to it hopefully you got a nice tropical island house and you like it so yeah i shall catch you in the next video guys almost addicted signing out which i just have to figure out how i'm going to take a picture of this to make it look all right <laughs> so yeah that's uh that's my night so i'll catch you in the next video yeah peace